welcome back to another vlog Today I'm going to be talking you through my process, the thought process behind planning looks and packing for Copenhagen Fashion Week which I am leaving for in two days. So today's Friday, I am going on Monday morning first thing. I have not yet started planning looks but I have bought quite a few new bit, especially from the final phase of sale. I always shop during that final phase, you know when the brands do like extra 30% off sale. That is my time to like shine. I get the best bargains then so I'm going to show you also the pieces that I got I've also loaned a few bits from some brands and some brands also very kindly reached out for gifting ahead of Copenhagen Fashion Week so I've got a mix of like new things that I've bought loaned bits my old pieces and things from brands all together that I'm gonna mix and try style a few outfits with I am just looking at my schedule now it is going to be busy the temperature in Copenhagen is going to be something like <gasps> rain all week that's really bad actually i was thinking it was going to be snow but rain is so much worse temperatures are like five degrees six degrees and then in the evening it's like three and one which i feel like it could be worse let's get started so here goes first look is this skirt suit from the frankie shop kind of has like a double layer situation i'll show you in a closer clip in a little bit. I paired it with my brand new loafers from Filling Pieces. It was the first time wearing them. And I tried to style it first of all with this quilted scarf from Jill Sander, but I wasn't feeling it. Then I put on this coat, which is from Source Unknown, but I did not like the way that the coat was slightly longer than the skirt. It just for me, that was not working. I do love the details on the shoulders of the coat though. Had to highlight that. I paired it for now, with my mint green classic flap Chanel bag, but I still wasn't feeling it. Instead, I grabbed this Gilly, which I've had for literally years. It's from Arquette, and I paired it with the sunglasses. I felt like this was actually a really strong look. However, I did end up returning the suit even before Fashion Week started. I felt like I was only going to wear it that one time and probably never again. Also, the skirt wasn't fitting that well around my waist, so it was the right decision to make. Next up is this fleece from Nanushka. I've loaned it from the Outnet. I feel like this was really cute, but I wasn't really sure how to build upon it because the fleece is really chunky already, so I couldn't really layer or add anything. I paired it with my tabbies and a pair of brown trousers, which are from Topshop, but it still needed a little bit more excitement. So for now, I'm just gonna hang it on the rail and I might revisit that look in, yeah, tomorrow or something. Next up is this dress from Rixo. I think the dress on its own is beautiful. Perhaps more of a summer piece, but I'm gonna try and make it work anyway. This coat from AA Spectrum is literally the best thing I bought for Fashion Week and in general for life. How amazing is it? I got it super discounted in the sale. I mean, it was still 300 euros, but I love it and Scott has also been wearing it. Wasn't really sure how I felt about the skirt, the dress being paired with the jacket, so instead I'm swapping it out for this black silky skirt. It's also from Rixo. I feel like it gives a little bit more of a, I don't know, like it just fits better, right? The buckles from the jacket fit much better with the skirt. And when, here's me having a phone call from somebody in Scotland, it's like, you've got a, pill, a bill to pay. <laughs> so had a little moment on the phone. I am pairing it with this Loewe puzzle bag. The colourway is pale aubergine glaze. I think the two pastel colours just work really well together and yep, that was a confirmed look. Next up, it's the knitted set from Joseph. It's a dress and a jumper over the top. I love how, I love the slit on the side to begin with and then I also love how high neck this the neckline is. I like the V as well which gives it a little bit more room to move around. I styled it with my Gucci loafers. I actually didn't love this look in the photos but I think it looks so good here like I don't know just something about it wasn't working. I was a bit torn between the two bags but in the end the Chanel one all day long and you know what I made a stupid mistake and I paired it with my new bag which is the Jodi from Bottega in Porridge. I just think this Chanel bag crossbody looks so much better and I'm gutted I didn't wear it. 
I was just playing around and I tried it with a gel sander scarf but I hated the fact that the two logos were like quite in your face like with a proper logo like na written logo Scott came home from running some errands he was like are you kidding tidy up and I was like no <laughs> next up I am wearing this double denim set from Kos. I was so desperate to wear a double denim look but this one just wasn't really working for me. I paired it with this really long coat from Joseph. I actually also ended up returning this. It was quite expensive and I wasn't in love with it. I decided to swap out the Kos denim for this pair from MM6. The Kos denim I also returned because they were quite tight on the upper thigh and the bum so they were not very comfortable when I sat down. Over the top, I am layering this knitted uh, bib from Sam Sew. I think this just adds another element of texture to the look, also warmth, of course, it's gonna be pretty cold. But in the end, I felt like this was more something that I should be wearing for brunch or just, you know, a walk through the city for coffee. It was not a fashion week look for me but I did bring everything with me as options and I used them in different kind of ways throughout the week and I would pair it with my Dior sunglasses just to give I don't know a little bit of spice next up is these cargo pants from the Frankie shop I'm totally obsessed with them they're so comfortable and I think they look really good with a lot of things just not this shirt that you're about to see now the blue one is another loan from the Outnet, it's a, it's a Marnie shirt and I actually love the shirt on its own but it's very oversized so it was a little bit tricky to style and they ended up, in the end I ended up wearing it with a pair of denim jeans which I thought looked much better than the cargo pants. I'm tying this little, na little necktie but I don't know I just I wasn't really sure anyway. I didn't like the way that the blue shirt and the cargo pants looked so I swapped it out for this white one and it's actually a menswear shirt. I forgot to mention that in fact probably around about 50% or more of my wardrobe is menswear, just so you know. I added the leather gilet on top and I felt like the look was quite cool um, but was missing a little pop of colour so I've added my super long stripy Acne Studio scarf. I was actually pretty happy with this look. I think the proportions look really cool. I like the way the gilet is quite a bit shorter than the shirt and the volume of the pants as well. But I decided to try it with a black skirt. Just felt it would be a bit more elevated, which yeah, I was definitely right. I think the black and white with the pop of color is really chic. My only concern for this look was the fact that I didn't feel like I could wear outerwear with it. I think if I put any sort of coat or jacket on, I would hide the interesting part of the look. So yeah, I was hoping for a sunny day to wear this one. My order from Joan the Juice just arrived and I'm gonna have a little break to eat this. But what are we thinking so far? I feel like because I'm vlogging, I can't fully like focus on how the outfits actually look. So I'm probably gonna like, I don't know, maybe look back at the video and see what outfits actually look good because to be honest I'm not even really looking at them I'm just putting them on making sure I've got the content and then hanging them up so anyway I ordered what did I order I ordered an iced latte with oat milk and I got tuna caddo obs because I mean it's actually the only thing I've ever tasted from John the Juice I would have got a coffee shake but they've taken it off the menu so to be honest, I've tried on, I think, all of like the new in bits and the rest is kind of a mix of like items I've had hanging in my wardrobe for a while now and just some more basic bits. So I'm gonna have to try a bit hard over the next batch of clothes. But I've got like, what, one, two, three, four, five looks already, which is kind of, I maybe need a few more or at least just options and then I can start mixing and matching between what I've got hanging on the rail and what I've got still dumped on the sofa. So I'm going to eat this and then we'll get back into it. By the way, I literally love Joe and the Juice. Like, thank God they exist. <laughs> First up of round two is this. It's another Rixo dress. This one is so pretty. 
um, I wasn't really sure how to style it. I feel like the dress on its own is perfect as it is. But of course, it's not summer yet, so I'm going to have to try layer it up. I tried first with a gilet, a little sleeveless knit, and then going in with this bomber jacket, which is from Acne Studios. I felt like the volume at the back was really cool, um, but it still felt super summery. Like, it's kind of summer evening look, isn't it? It's not screaming out January in Copenhagen, do you know what I mean? Or February even. Then, sticking with the Acne Studios theme, I tried it with this knitwear. I feel like this was actually quite nice. I didn't really like the way that the the knit, the, like the length of the knit, I felt like it cut off the dress a bit weird. So anyway, I kind of forgot about that look for now. And next up, I'm trying on this Ganny dress. My welly boots are stored in the bath, the toilet, which is behind that wooden door, wooden thing. I think the wellies with the dress is so cool. And just to stay true to the full Ganny theme, I went with the Ganny uh, sleeveless knit. I love this look, I think it's really comfortable. I'd actually already worn it last week, so I knew it was a good one. Then I'm going to try the Marnie shirt again. I've paired it with the Ganny X Levi's maxi skirt, which I have worn literally to death. I wear it all the time. And I'm pairing it with these shoes from Regina Pio. I don't know how to say that brand. Um, I wouldn't have worn the white socks, but you know, just trying it on. I'm layering over this Prada gilet, but I don't know, it was a bit basic. It looks good for like brunch, as I said before, but it just wasn't really cool enough for me, I don't think. I'm trying it again with a coat, but oh yeah, actually no, I'm layering the gilet over the coat. It just felt a bit too chunky. I think that coat, the shoulders are too big to layer over a gilet. This is something I do quite a lot. I layer my like gilets over coats and it usually works, but today, no. Then, oh my God, this was a massive fail. I <laughs> God, it looks so bad. I tried on the gray trousers with that shirt, but the shirt's super long. So it was all, the fabric was all bumfling up underneath the, the waist. That was a big no, no. Moving on to the next look, I'd actually planned this one for Paris Fashion Week last season, but it was too hot to wear it. But I think it was just like such a strong look, so I'm trying it again. It's just a black maxi skirt, black blazer, my like tan coloured balaclava, which is from Arquette. And I've paired it again with the filling pieces loafers, and this is my off-white bag. I love this bag so much. I don't really like the clip. I never wear it with a clip. I've also got a big crossbody strap with off-white all over it, but I like the bag just simple like that. Then I'm trying, I'm pairing kind of two outfits together. It's the blazer from the Frankie shop and the cargo pants with that Arquette Julie. That was a massive no. Did not look good on me at all. And now I'm just kind of like losing patience. I'm just throwing things on, nothing's really working. This looks cool and comfortable for like a day in Amsterdam, but not for this trip. I feel like I'm just blabbing now. Like I've definitely lost my train of thought. This is actually quite cool now that I look at it. When I put the cap on in the mirror, I was like, oh my God, that's so bad. How nice is that jacket though? It's from Olaf, so is the cap. And I've been wearing it nonstop since I received it. Didn't actually wear it to fashion week, but I think it's just so cool. Anyway, this was the last look that I tried. You'll be happy to know. Now let's debrief. It's gotten to that point where I just cannot anymore. So I think I'm going to just leave it at that. I think I've styled some nice outfits so far and the rest will be tomorrow or on Sunday, the day before I go. I'll try things on again just to see what I'm vibing and what I'm not. How nice is this jacket though? I hope you enjoyed watching. Now that I have like the setup in the living room, I'm definitely gonna do this more because it was quite easy to do. I was always like telling myself in my head that my apartment was too small and I wouldn't be able to get like the distance between me and the camera to get a full body. But I have just proved myself wrong. So maybe the next one can be a bit of a capsule wardrobe, but like from like my style point of view, which is not really like what I would class as your typical capsule wardrobe, but I definitely have one. Like there are pieces of my wardrobe which are quite out there, but I wear them 
constantly and I style them in very different ways so I think that one could be quite interesting and a bit different to the norm and then what else would I like to do I want to do like um just quite simple like talking you through my outfits of the week I think that can be quite a nice one to film and also just to show you more like real life not really focusing on any topic in particular um I think that's all I've got to say for now and if you want to see what I ended up wearing at Copenhagen Fashion Week then check out my Instagram which I will link here and please let me know your thoughts in the comments was there some outfits that you loved some you hated or some of them just like rogue or perhaps you got a little bit of inspiration for your own wardrobe please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time <laughs>